USA are once again FIBA World Champions. And it feels great to say that. So now USA has won the past two major basketball tournaments, the 2008 Olympics in Beijing and the 2010 FIBA World Championships in Istanbul, Turkey. Um, just a great tournament, undefeated. Undefeated in the, uh, in the group stage, and then won every match, and then beat Turkey in the finals, which could not have been a better finals match. Uh, I, d I wanted to play Turkey because it probably would give us the best test and also, uh, the Turkish fans deserve it. Um, very rarely do they, does the host country make it that far. Um, <clears throat> so I was very impressed with Turkey's play. They went undefeated until the final match. So very, very good um, tournament from Turkey. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. The players um, on the USA squad... Uh, mostly very inexperienced, a lot of young players. Um, the only real old players were Chandler, Billups, Odom, and uh, I, I think that's it. Uh, so a lot of young players on this team. Um, I wanted Rajon Rondo to stay, but he eventually left. So... Um, U.S. got to keep the rest of their players. Uh, they were originally supposed to cut one, but since uh, Rondo left, they got to keep all 12. Um, my MVP of the tournament, I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. Kevin Durant, this guy, he truly showed how good he's going to be in the future. And a lot of times during this tournament, the announcers were talking about, oh, would you rather have Kevin Durant or LeBron James on your team to build a team around? At this point in time, I might actually go with Kevin Durant. Durant is, what, five years younger than LeBron? Um, I know LeBron could definitely win the scoring title if he wanted to. Um, he could definitely score more points than Durant, but Durant is 21 years old. This is the biggest match he's played in this tournament, this entire tournament as a whole. And he scores a record amount of points for a US player in a FIBA tournament. A record amount of points. He scored 38 in one match. I think that was his highest. Um, I mean this guy is incredible. Um, I thought that <clears throat> Lamar Odom played very well. Uh, Iguodala, besides his occasional brick when he shot a three-pointer, played great defense, got just crazy amount of rebounds. Um, I really like the play of Rudy Gay when he got in the game. I didn't really think he got enough playing time. Um, Billups was kind of disappointing. Um, he got in the lane quite often, but really never found his shot. Um, I'm thinking it might have been the ball because he didn't shoot his free throws quite as well either and he's known in the NBA to, to be one of the best free throw shooters and three-point shooters so I don't know what went on with him but <clears throat> I mean a great tournament. Russell Westbrook played really well. Uh, I really like the play of him. A lot of times he is out of control but this guy is so fast that no one can keep up with him. And so athletic, too. Uh, ben Gordon did very well. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Chandler, I thought, should have got in more. Um, I know the FIBA play is mostly um, one big guy and four versatile guys. Um, but usually, U.S. had five versatile guys in. <clears throat> I, I wanted Chandler to get in more just because of the defensive part because teams were trying to expose us down low. Um, obviously, it didn't really work, but uh, I wanted him to get in a little more. Uh, Kevin Love 
great tournament for Love. Absolutely. I love Kevin Love. He's such a hustle player. He gets rebound after rebound. He never stops going. And it, it pays off for him. He Last year in the NBA, he was the number one rebound per 48 minutes player in the league. Um, and it showed. He... He's just, he's a great player. Uh, I wanted to see a little bit more of Danny Granger. He really never got in. I, I think he probably had a total of 20 minutes in the entire tournament. Um, I know that that has to happen for one player. Um, that, that, you know, that has to happen. Uh, it happened in the uh, Olympics uh, with a few players. Um, you know, like Boozer. Boozer hardly ever got in, and he's a fantastic player. Um, but uh, Coach K, overall, I thought he had a pretty good coaching performance. Um, I think sometimes he was hesitant towards calling timeouts to uh, to give the other team confidence, but I really think that at this point in time, other countries, you have to go into the mind. Your mindset going into the game has to be, we have to win this game, um, not we are going to win this game, because other countries are getting a lot better. So you can't treat it like a game that's going to be won no matter what. You have to play seriously. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Kevin Durant, story of the tournament. Um, he didn't. I don't think he led the the um, tournament in scoring. I'm pretty sure it was Scola, um, who played fantastic basketball for Argentina. He was their go-to guy. You know, without Manu Ginobili, um, Scola just played great ball. Um, Hamed Haddadi for Iran played very well. Um, I also like the play of uh, Arsalan. Kazemi, Kazemi, I think that's his name, on Iran when they played U.S. He did very good. A um, few guys on Brazil that when they played U.S. did really well. Um, Verjao really didn't do anything, which I was very happy about since I absolutely I can't stand the guy. Um, let's see, anyone else on U.S. I missed? Uh, I know there was, but I, I can't think of them right now. But I'm just so happy we won this. Uh, we qualify for the 2012 Olympics um, in London, uh, which I will be expecting us to win, considering um, most teams had their A team, like all of their good players in. Um, you know, obviously, Pau Gasol didn't play. That's a huge loss. Paul Gasol is probably top three, maybe the, the best international player in the world. <clears throat> um, but when U.S. gets their top team back, you know, the 2008 team, which is also going to be including Durant, um, maybe one or two more guys from this team, but... I, I don't see how that team can be stopped. There's just no way. Um, but that's a long time from now. Two more years. It's going to be a long two years. Uh, but great tournament for USA. And that's it. Go U.S.